In this lecture, we're going to talk about how to work with optional argument of the functions. In the Python previous function lecture, we understand how to work with basic functions. Now, let's take a look at how you can specify default value to the function and what kind of problem you will face when working on the functional argument. So, let's take a look at a very simple example. Optional arguments can be defined by assigning equal to sign. You can specify default value in the function argument using equal to sign. For example, if I want to create here a function, I'm going to start with a define keyword, then specify name to this function. I'm going to specify name make. And in the parenthesis, I want to specify the default argument to this function. So I'm going to pass here a parameter and I'm going to name this parameter action. If you specify this parameter action and specify the body just like this, return action, then this is the required parameter of this function. Now to make this required parameter optional, you can specify here default value to this parameter. So here I'm going to specify equal to sign and then specify single quotes. So now this is the default value of this action argument. Now to call this function, you can simply just specify the name of the function. I'm going to say here print make and then pass here fun just like this and execute this file. I'm going to have fun as a result. If I specify here sleep just like this, and get rid of this argument from this function parenthesis i'm going to have sleep as a result so this function is going to get this default value so if the argument of this function is not passed then the function will take this default value you can pass more than one argument as well in the function argument now let's take a look at what happen if i pass mutable optional argument there is a problem when working with optional argument with a mutable default type which can potentially lead to unexpected behavior. For example, if I create here a function, define make, and if I specify some parameters here, a comma b is equal to 40, and then specify c is equal to, and then specify parenthesis. Now, here you can notice this is the required parameter of this function. This is the optional parameter. Just out of that, I'm going to just specify here pass. I don't want to add any code inside this body. So I'm going to pass here pass keyword and to call this function, I'm going to say here make. Now what I want, I want to print this default argument. I'm going to just simply get rid of this parenthesis right from here, specify dot, double underscore, specify defaults, just like this. Just call this attribute of this function and execute your file. When you execute your file, you're going to get the default arguments of this function. So to this function, you have two default arguments. So you're going to get the result something like this. Now, for mutable types, this is not a problem because there is no way to mutate the variable. It can only be reassigned, leaving the optional value unchanged. Hence, subsequent are guaranteed to have the same default value. However, for a mutable type, the original value can mutate by making calls to its various members functions. Therefore, successive calls to the functions are not guaranteed to have the initial default value. Let me show you what I want to say. If I just create here a simple function, I'm going to say here define and specify name to this function append just like this and in this function I'm going to create first require parameter here I'm going to say element and create a default parameter two, just like this and in this function what I want I'm going to just return two, just like this I want to append this element inside this two. so inside this function here I'm going to say two dot append and then specify element just like this just down here i'm going to just simply say print call the append function and here you can notice we have two arguments to this function first is the element and second is the list so as you know we have the default value to this list so i'm not going to specify any value here instead i'm going to just specify value to this element here i'm going to specify one when i execute this file i'm going to have one as a result I'm going to duplicate this statement, specify here 2. When I execute this file, I'm going to have 1 and 2 as a result. Now I duplicate this statement and specify 3. I'm going to have a 1, 2, and 3 as a result. Now, what if I want to just reset this list? I'm going to just simply specify here bracket, just like this. So I'm going to just initialize this variable just like this and execute this file. When I execute this file, I'm going to have 3 as a result. And then if I duplicate this statement, and then if I specify here four, and when I execute this file, again, I have my default variable. In the previous statement, I reset this 
two variable but this is only apply to the statement not for the statement so calling this function like this is going to append this three value in the internal storage list and when you call this function again with different value you're going to get your previous value and a new value passed to this function argument now if you want to solve this problem and reset this list let me show you how you can do that if you want to ensure that the default argument is always the one you specify in the function definition then the solution is always use the mutable type as a default argument a common idiom to achieve this when a mutable type is needed as a default is to use none as a default argument and then assigning the actual default value to the argument variable if it is equal to none let me show you instead of creating this function just like this to get the actual result here i'm going to create if statement here i'm going to say if two is none then i'm going to execute this if statement and in this if i'm going to say two is equal to and then specify square bracket and instead of this square bracket instead of initializing this with a list i'm going to say here none just like this so i'm going to just initialize this object as none and if this object is equal to none i'm going to just reset it or i'm going to just add some content inside it now let me just execute this file and show you the result when i execute this file you're going to get the result something like this if i initialize this value with some argument just like this if i specify here one two and three i'm going to have these values inside this list so you can notice with initialization of this list i'm going to have the result something like this and when i don't have this argument to this function this will just reset this value so this is how we can solve this problem when working with optional argument so i hope you understand how to work with functional optional argument that is all for now i will see you in the next one